Hello and welcome to a rather unusual trophy guide. In this guide I will show you how to get not only one, but two platinum trophies. Before we get into it I will mention a few things. First, this game's trophies are extremely grindy, so instead of going through the entire game and showing everything step by step, I will divide all trophies into different sections and summarize how to get them in the most effective way. Second, you are required to have an active PS Plus membership since there are a few online trophies. Additionally, you can do almost everything with other players which will generally make things easier. And lastly, you might sometimes obtain trophies before I mention them. That is because some trophies are tied to random events and playstyles, so depending on how you play, you might unlock them before they are mentioned. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Our first priority will be rushing through the story of Monster Hunter World with a few stops to get some miscellaneous trophies out of the way. In this game, story progression is made by completing assignments in which we hunt monsters. For now, you can ignore all other types of quests. I will now go over the first stretch of story and what assignments and other tasks you will have to complete. If you need any further reference, then I recommend you watch my 100% guide for the mentioned quests. I will link it in the description. Furthermore, I must tell you that there is no requirement for choosing any specific weapon type. You can play 100% of the game using whatever equipment you desire. However, if you are new to the series or just want to keep it easy, I do highly recommend you use Defender weapons and the Guardian armor that are available right from the start. You will start with creating your own character and then going through the intro. There you will already receive your very first trophy, the Art of Camouflage. You will then have to complete the following assignments. Jagras of the Ancient Forest and a Kassadon Kerfuffle, which will lead directly into the Great Jagras Hunt. Clearing those will then net you the trophy Welcome to the New World. We will then be given the optional quest Learning the Clutch by the Smithy. Complete this quest to unlock the trophy Clutch Claw Neophyte. Also know that the Clutch Claw will make the game a ton easier, so try to learn it. To proceed, go onto an expedition and fight the Kuliaku. Now I will explain another mechanic that will make hunts easier and reward you a trophy. Position yourself upon a ledge or a slope and run slash slide off it to perform a jump. Attack in mid-air to perform an aerial attack. If you hit a monster enough times with an aerial attack he will mount it. Repeatedly press triangle and hold R2 or tilt the L stick when it tries to throw you off. Successfully toppling a monster will reward you with a trophy the bigger they are. After hunting the Kuliaku, go all the way up the ancient tree until you spot a feline. Follow it to its hideout and initiate the conversation to receive the first friends trophy. I will show how to find it here because this map can be very confusing.
Now beat the assignment Urgent Pookie Pookie Hunt. That will grant you the next story trophy, nothing stops this commission. During the next assignments, the best kind of quest or Sinister Shadows in the Swamp, you can go for yet another miscellaneous trophy. Kill some of the herbivores and carve them to obtain raw meat. Then choose the barbecue spit in your item bar and use it to roast your meat. You will have to get the right timing down to receive a well done steak, so just try over and over until you get it. That will grant you the mmm, so tasty trophy. After that, beat Flying Sparks Toby Kodachi and the Encroaching Anjaneth. Beating all those will unlock the next story trophy called Defender of Astera. Beat the next assignment, one for the history books, and then go into your room to talk to the housekeeper. Choose to move to a new room called Private Quarters and the trophy Moving On Up will pop. Now to proceed in the story, go on to an expedition in the Great Ravine, then in the Coral Highlands. Beat the assignments by looting problems, then go on to an expedition in the Rotten Vale and hunt a Radabon. Follow the story to unlock the assignment Legiana Embodiment of Elegance. Beating those quests will then grant you the next story trophy called Into the Deep. Now go deeper into the Rotten Vale and hunt an Odogron. Following that, go on to an expedition in the Ancient Forest and hunt a Rathalos. Lastly, beat two more assignments called Horned Tyrant Below the Sands and a Colossal Task. That will conclude low rank and award the trophy Death Begets Life. Continuing the story, you can now ride on herbivores. This doesn't do much for you, but riding on them multiple times unlocks two trophies, First Ride and Experienced Rider. Go on to an expedition in the Wildfire Waste and hunt a Pookie Pookie. You will then have to collect unknown Rathian tracks until the bar is filled. Once the bar is half and then fully filled, you will unlock the assignments Tickle Pink and Old World Monster in the New World, respectively. Beating those assignments unlocks the trophy The Empress of the Highlands. Now go on to an expedition into the Everstream to reach the Elder's Recess. Watch all three monster cutscenes and gather Nergigante tracks just as before. Note that they will only appear in the Elder's Recess. Afterwards, you unlock the assignment A Wound and a Thirst, which unlocks the One Shall Stand, One Shall Fall trophy. And because I know you all just love gathering monster tracks, you can now go and do that for three more monsters. Those will then appear in the assignments Kushala da Aura, Dragon of Steel, Teostra the Infernal, and Hellish Fiend Valhazak. After beating all of those, the last assignment will be unlocked, so go ahead and beat Land of Convergence to complete the Monster Hunter World story and obtain the trophy with the Sapphire Star. Before we now continue with the next storyline, I recommend just getting a few things out of the way that won't play any role for the trophies in the Iceborne expansion. Go into the menu to find your guild card. You can send this guild card to other players. You must receive 50 guild cards sent by others to unlock the Spreading the Word trophy. I recommend that every now and then you go into a full online session and send your guild card to everyone. You will most likely get a few sent back. Alternatively, if you have one other person willing to help, you can have them send you their card and then delete it and repeat that 49 more times. Next you need to beat 50 arena quests to obtain the trophies Step into the Arena and Nowhere to Go but Up. You don't have to beat different ones, nor get any higher ranks. Just look for an easy one and beat it 50 times. I will also mention two trophies you will most likely get automatically when proceeding. You will obtain the trophy Commissioned Work for amassing 100,000 resource points collectively. Also you will obtain the Boss and Bodies trophy once you level up any Pelico Gadget to level 10. Just never switch out the Vigil Wasp Spray and you will be good. Obviously, it won't level if you play online with more than one other player, as your Pelico will then stay behind.